giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Hakka, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to the Akiam and Akwat worldwide. This is Brother Arakia from GMS Finland, and uh, I'm making a video using an example of the relay race. Okay, relay race and the, and the truth, and comparing these relay races with the truth that we hopefully elect of the nation of Israel are involved in this very day, okay, in these last times, in these last minutes, last moments of the last days of the wicked kingdom of Esau Edom, okay. So let me just read a bit. A relay race is a racing competition where members of a team take turns completing parts of race course or performing a certain action. Okay, and this is the point that I want to focus on. Let me highlight it right here. Okay, relay race, also called relay, a track and field sport consisting of a set number of stages, usually four, each leg run by a different member of a team. Okay, now the runner finishing one leg is usually required to pass the next runner a stick-like object known as a baton or baton, while both are running in a marked exchange zone. And why am I using this example of re relay race? You know, for example, you have the four times 100 meter or four times 400 meters in, in, in track and field in running. There's many different examples, but the comparison is to the, to the job that the prophets and the true men of the Lord that are written of in the scriptures did in the ancient days and how they were running their run, carrying the baton, carrying the, the, the exchangeable object and then relaying it forward over and over. Okay, one example is, is Elijah and then he came back as John the Baptist and then as Abba Bivens in reincarnation. So at that point when Abba Bivens came into truth, he took the button, the object, which there is no, no such thing as tangible object. We are talking about a, a, a truth, okay? And awareness, awareness, you could say. You know, knowledge, wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the Holy Bible, of what's happened in the past, what's going on right now and what's going to happen in the future and how to live to represent Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of one's abilities. So that awareness, that knowledge, when Abba Bivens, Elder Abba Bivens, came into truth, he took the baton, the exchangeable object, which is this knowledge, and started to run with it. And then you have King Masha, High Priest Yaikwab and High, High Priest Arya. And after that, you have the Elder Apostle Tahar, Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Raka, Elder Apostle Aramlab, and Downforth, all down and all the elders on down. Okay, from that moment on. So right now, we, the hopeful elect of the nation of, of Israel, and mainly the the brothers in, in, in GMS, you know, are carrying the exchangeable baton. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but I'm, I'm just going to say uh, baton, this uh, exchangeable object. So right now, it's our time to carry this and uh, run and finish the race, go into the 
to the final line, you know, cross the final line. Because thus far, the end has not come. So, when there has been a changement, it wasn't the final run. But now, us holding this knowledge, this holy understanding of these scriptures, we have to finish the race for once and for, for, for all. Okay, finish, finish our, our work. Until the day that Yahweh Shah Mashaya comes back with the holy angels and he will set up the kingdom of, of Israel. You know, until that we have to do our part, you know, which is to present ourselves as living sacrifices. Holy accept acceptable to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So let me stop talking and go to the scriptures. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 2. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain up upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So the prophets of old, of the biblical times, that wrote down their visions and their prophecies and everything that they had to, that, that, the, that the Holy Spirit, the Rakakadash, made them write down, or, or their scribes, you know, their, their writers. Everything that was written of them or from them is that now in this present time we can read it and run with it. Okay? Run with this with this knowledge. Understand that who we are, that we are the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. We know who is our main enemy, the so-called white man. And how it was destined from the beginning and how it's going to end. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So now we know these things. Now we understand that there's Jacob's trouble that's already begun. But it's now just going to get stronger and stronger and more confirmed as the days go by. We see all these end time prophecies and visions and the only thing left is the major full implication of the mandatory microchip okay which is the mark of the beast of the book of revelation so now we are understanding these things because we are reading and running with the writings of the prophets of old okay so when they were doing their thing they had the baton the exchangeable object, stick-like object in their, in their hand. And now they passed it on. Okay? And at the moment we have it in our, in our hands and we have to finish the race. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So Apostle Paul said that when Yahweh Shai came on the scene 2,000 years ago, that was the beginning of last days. So these visions, including the downfall of United States, you know, Babylon, with these nuclear missiles, it's for an appointed time. It, it, it wasn't appointed to happen 1,000 years ago, 500 years ago, 300 years ago, 50 years ago. But now we are living in those times. Okay? And we can know it by following all the prophecies that has been written of old. Okay? Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. This book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, 
that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Our hope, even the name hopeful elect says it, is to be amongst the elect, is to be amongst those who are saved from this current world and to be amongst them who are building up the next one under the rulership of the Most High, his son Yahushai, and uh, Malak Dawada, which is King David. So whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So right now, we have to, we have to receive the baton, you know, the exchangeable object that is written in, 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 in the scriptures and take it to ourselves and hold through it that we can also, through that knowledge of, this, of, of the scriptures, can have hope, you know, can, can have comfort, you know, can have patience. Okay? The next scripture is, is the book of Job, verse 8 from chapter 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. So it's really important for us to understand the history, to understand what's happening today. Okay? That's part of our job, who are now carrying the baton, and as it is our part to, to run to the finish line. So reading these scriptures automatically, we are inquiring of the former age, preparing the search of our ancestors. You know, from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, who is Israel, and all the prophets, you know, they are our ancestors, our They are same nation as we are, you know, we are brethren, brethren with them. And not to mention that the prophets of old, whose names is in this book, through reincarnation, are the men of GMS today, starting from the, from the top men, from the elders and apostles, you know, King Masha being King David, who was also Peter, and Abba Bivens being Elijah and John the Baptist. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. 